Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today up on the bench I have a Whirlpool dishwasher. This dishwasher is only a year and a half old, and the circulation pump is shot. So I'm going to show you how to switch this thing out, and I'm also going to show you what's wrong with the old pump. I already have the dishwasher out. Actually, I got this thing for free because it was broken and the owner didn't want to fix it. There's a plug here that plugs in to the circulation motor and once you unplug it you can just uh, wiggle it out of here. There we go. So that comes loose and this is the part that needs to be replaced. So when I got this thing home, the first thing I did was uh, remove this pump and I hooked it up to power. Right here's two leads that are AC and uh, the, the pump was, was barely spinning and it was kind of making a grinding noise. So you can see I, I already marked it because I had it apart. So I pulled this off and you could check your impeller if something's clogged in there that won't let your motor spin but the problem is actually the bearings and I'll show you the bearings on this thing there's four screws and what I did is uh, I kinda I temporarily fixed these bearings here's our rotor this thing here is your impeller screws off like this and in here there are carbon bearings and what I did is I put a, a little piece of plastic in here you can see it's worn down just to try and run the dishwasher through a cycle just to make sure that was the only problem because uh, as I said I, I got the thing for free I don't really know the history on it this is what the bearings look like the armature actually runs through the bearing they're really soft I believe they're graphite I can punch this through this way there we go so you can see this is this is what it looks like down inside the housing here so there's a o-ring that keeps any water out and then this is the culprit this bushing and you can see how this is widened this is not nearly as bad as the original one the other one um, you can see that fits on the armature but it's, it's loose where the other one was so loose it wouldn't even spin properly because this armature was rubbing up against the magnets in here and uh, these things are really the only thing you need to replace, but like I said, there's nowhere that I could find these to source them online. It's not really a replaceable part. So the easiest way to go about it is just to order a complete new circulation pump. So that's what I did. All right, guys, I think we're about ready to install our motor. First thing we're gonna do is uh, take a little liquid dish soap and lube up all the parts that are going to mate together to help things slide on here. This comes with a uh, rubber elbow hose already on there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to use a hose clamp because I don't have the uh, specialty tool to connect that. So I'll put that hose clamp on there now. And there's this pin up here. So we'll slip that in. It's going to go up top. That's the first thing you need to actually line up and kind of get seated there. There we go. And then once you have that in, everything should just kind of slip in place. We're in there good. Everything's seated. We're down to the fins on there. All I have to do is get in and tighten up that hose clamp now. Last step is don't forget to hook up your power. It only goes in here one way double check everything's good I tightened up my uh, hose clamp everything's looking good here so it is a really easy fix and you know I think it was like 
eighty dollars or so for the motor. So it's either you know buy a motor or buy a new dishwasher. And um, you know I think these dishwashers run about four hundred to five hundred dollars depending which specific model you get. But this particular dishwasher has about, what I read, there were 7,000 reviews on it. And it had about a rating of a 4.5 stars out of 5. So anyhow, I'm Double Wide 6 and I just hope this repair will help you guys out. Um, you can check out the link in the description. And you can check out my channel for some other repair videos. Thanks for watching guys.